Hello YouTube, this is Killer Frog and welcome back into a new campaign. Today we will play as Nova Cartago. So, as the Punic Colonies, we have the same trait as uh, Cartago, which gives us a nice protection of 25% on the upkeep cost of mercenaries' armies. And we have the Phoenician, also trade heritage, which gives us a bonus of 15% on the wealth from all commerce buildings. Other than that, as a, the trade specific to our faction, we have a little 5% bonuses on the wealth in sea trade uh, from the fish, so it's not very that good. However, we have a bonus one on the recruitment time for the fleet, and we have a little 3% uh, bonus on the tax rate from uh, the fine administration, which is uh, pretty good, probably the best rate that we have as uh, uh, the Nova Cartago faction. So, without any ado, we'll start this right now. Alright, welcome back into the campaign map. We'll start this with some Libyan Oplites. We need to recruit some troops. We can also build some stuff, so we'll do immediately that. We are at war with um, Perditani, so I guess we'll build a nice military building here to increase the garrison and give us the ability to recruit some Carthaginian Oplites. Other than that, around here, uh, nothing is too uh, catastrophic. We have already spent almost all of our money, so maybe we'll. Yeah, we'll recruit one less there, and we'll recruit maybe two troops over here. If we can have a nice uh, general with a nice reduction on the upkeep, like you, that will do. Alright, let's go there, and recruit maybe... Well, I guess Libyan Oplites, since they are cheaper than Javelin men, somehow. So that will be it. We'll start to go immediately for the mercenary upkeep reduction. I feel like this will be useful. Our main target will probably uh, Dimidi and uh, also Puditani, uh, but we'll see. I guess maybe uh, these guys will also declare war on us. Uh, I think it will be uh, a worky start, but it should be good. Other than that, I think we are already set. Maybe we can trade with someone? No, not really. So let's send this right now. So. Return to your people. Well, that wasn't long. For death. That is now. Did it uh, we shall put well, aside yeah. swords and draw the bow. Well, I kind of called it. So we start in uh, 3 versus 1. It should be good. Alright. So I guess we'll focus here. So nothing too crazy. And we can ambush them. So I guess we'll try to do that. Maybe two of you, one of you. I think that should do. Hopefully these are a slave infantry too. We fight for you, my lord. Can we manage it? My lord. Maybe one more just to be sure. Alright, let's go. So we can ambush them, so that will be the first battle. Alright, so we are ready. Uh, we'll try to focus the elephants, and with uh, the Nubian cavalry, we'll try to focus the range infantry. We'll try to push them in that direction, towards hopefully they will stay hidden our general unit, and we should be able to sandwich them and kill them easily. Um, if we're getting engaged with slave infantry, it's not too bad, we should be able to hold them. And hopefully uh, these Nubian Oplites will be able to hold the elephant in uh, the elephants long enough for the javelins to finish them. So we'll see how it goes. We'll just wish uh, for the best. So I didn't saw the cliff here, so it will be a bit messy for us. I guess we'll bring them a bit forward. The good news is that the elephants are chasing us, so maybe we can uh, make them a mock before they can deal any damage. Um, should be good. Let's go uh, uphill. There we go. Oh dear, we'll use the uplight wall and time for our general to go in. Let's pull back um, with our skirmishers. Alright, everything is good. 
We'll just engage with that unit uh, for the days and with the rear charge that should do it. Oh dear. Putting is pretty good. I guess we'll inspire uh, these guys. Right, right, right. And this is pretty much it at this point. This is a GG. Alright, 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 alright. I guess we'll just chase them down a little bit. To stop the javelins. Let's continue a little bit, just to be sure that they are wiped out. We don't have that much uh, extra men to spare uh, in that war. So we need to be sure that they are wiped out. And I think that she'll do it. Alright, excellent. We'll we will really stand for the money. And I think we'll try to... I guess it's a bit really risky. I guess we'll go back here and recruit a little bit. We'll disband maybe uh, one cap unit. That one. Since uh, the other one have a, has a rank. Or have a rank. Anyway. We'll recruit a bit more men. Maybe one more. Can we one more? No. Okay. For them, should be enough to start pushing after. We'll go for the contractor. It's giving us a little uh, 2% bonus on the wealth from the buildings. And we still have 300, so I guess we go here and recruit maybe uh, one more Libyan of the taste. That should be good for this turn. The good thing is that both of these uh, settlements are pretty close uh, to uh, from each other, so we should be able to reinforce them in case. So for this campaign, we'll probably uh, try to secure our first province, and then we'll go and conquer Iberia. So if that sounds good to you, you can feel free to subscribe so that you won't miss any of it. Other than that, we'll just continue. So, 11 troops is not too crazy. I'm just worried that there's another army. I guess we'll see. Ready for further orders. Point, I guess we can just uh, go there to the limit. Okay, only one, uh, one unit. Not too bad. However, we are in the range, so hopefully they won't come back. And I feel that they will. We'll just recruit a few more. And we still have a bit of money to recruit. Maybe one less. We need to earn some money to recruit more over here. Thing like that. We still have a good uh, amount of troops, and over here our garrison is 8 units. It's not too uh, not too bad, we should be able to hold. I guess... Oh. Do we really want to go against Rome, or do we want to break now? I guess we will enter on the side of Rome, because we're not... Uh, in position to fight the Cartagian here either. I think we have enough enemies for now. So they want to fight, which is uh, pretty good to me. I guess we'll just fight it. I feel uh, the power, the balance of power is maybe a bit more uh, too much into their advantage. So we'll fight this and then we'll be able to, I guess, take their last uh, settlement. Alright, so we are pretty much ready. Hopefully they will spawn over there. And not an hour back. I can't see the settlement in the map, so. Enemy reinforcements approaching. Okay, they're coming from here. That's good. So we'll go harass the general unit. Will be pretty good. Light, um, Nubian light infantry. I still play with a few uh, DLC, not DLCs, but yes, DLCs, but also some mods for the units. I'm not sure if it's one of the standard game or if it's a modded unit. Either way, they, they look pretty cool. You just need to be careful because I have no idea if they have ammunition or stuff like that. Alright, 
we can arrest them easily and with uh, the quick reload ability and I guess the that shield are, are done pretty much some of those are pretty cool too I like the shield Pretty nice. We need to uh, be careful with that unit. They can be uh, pretty wild. Ew. I guess remove both skirmishers on that flank. I feel like the noble cavalry will be there. We will reposition a little bit. And also we'll take a position like something like over here, so that the slingers won't be able to target our infantry because of the doom. They will have to go up there and be close to our ranks. So we'll do that. And we'll just hope for the best. We can see uh, that unit, however. I guess uh, would be we can easily arrest them. Time to target the noble cavalry. Both of them should do a good job at eliminating them. Yeah. Alright, so it's time to chase them down. Alright, alright, alright. Nubian skimishers are doing good at this front. The general should die, you know. Pretty soon. A nice good volley should do the trick. Come on, come on. There we go. I guess we'll try to attack them just to make them move. Oh, time to pull back over here. Didn't see that. And yeah. It's painful. And it's almost our only cab unit, so we'll try to engage them and maybe one less volley in the back should do the trick. Or it wouldn't hurt. The general can go around and help with these units. Now we'll chase down that unit now that they are engaged around here. Alright, we just need to target Darvas them a little bit. Over here we should win. I'm not sure. Hopefully we'll win this. But we need the javelins to help around here. Alright, we need to break that unit quickly. And then we'll go down here and help. Not too sure why they are all bunched up here. Um, maybe we can pull out. There's no need to uh, have so many uh, Libyan overtakes to fight them. Right, right, right. The general is doing pretty good around here. We'll break the formation just to encircle them more easily. Who's winning? 77. Just need to finish well, that unit quickly. The general is doing good. Alright. We'll pull back the general. Hopefully, Taze can go there, there and then we'll attack that we unit. At your command. Come on, come on, come on. Let's regroup. Well, here it's not too bad. We'll engage in melee now. That charge should finish that unit. And then both of cavalry unit will just uh, go through the missiles uh, enemy's unit. Well, we can chase them down with uh, the Nubian cap. Or not, apparently. Alright, alright, alright. Come on, Come on, 
I'm just around the Nubian infantry, Noble infantry. They will be hard to kill with uh, the low tier unit that we have. Time to help around here, and hopefully we'll have uh, a few javelins left to, to help around here and here. At least here it's uh, light infantry, so it's not too bad. Now that will shift uh, nicely. Come on, come on, come on. Guess we'll push through the formation. Just to fight uh, more models. Alright, come on. Excellent. We'll bring our general unit too. Not sure. Use whip. Alright. So maybe we'll wait just a little bit for the ability to end so they will be uh, like exhausted. And thus uh, their fighting skills will be uh, less, uh, less impressive if we can say so. The evidence will go around to attack the general unit. Alright. We will also inspire some... Uh, some of the warriors. Now it's time to charge. We can see that they are... Uh, well, they are tired, so... Seems to be the good timing to attack. It was a good charge and... Yeah, that will be the end of them. Do they have a very good charge? Not really. Well, good for us. Forward. It's time to go charge another unit. Wait, wait a little bit. We'll just let the javelin uh, maybe shoot uh, some javelins at them, but point blank. Let's go a bit faster. One of our units has used all its ammunition. All right, time for the general to ch cycle charge. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. We'll just continue to finish uh, finish the units so that we can more uh, easily take the settlement. I guess at this point they should be pretty much dead. So, close victory. We lost a few units, but we should be fine. We'll just take the settlement and then we'll recruit maybe uh, a few more Oplites to defend uh, our settlements from the, the last remaining army. And maybe we'll recruit also the mercenaries so that they can't recruit them. Lovely. We'll release them for the money. Now they try to come back but it will be too late. Hopefully they didn't have time to replenish uh, the garrison. No. Good, and we have more men now. Excellent. Go we'll occupy. Ready for battle. And maybe they will suffer a, f a few uh, uh, some attrition before attacking us. Which will be pretty nice. Now, what we want to do... Well, is this been them? Because there's no point to kick them. So we will recruit all of them so that they can't they can't have them and maybe we'll disband what we don't really need which is probably most of them so 11 troops how can i serve carthage we'll do something like that no point at keeping you we can increase uh, upgrade our general unit and maybe we can spend one of you so that our economy will be a bit better not much but a bit better than nothing let's recruit one more over here and it should be good for this turn they are still there this is the good news 
And we have, yes, a military tradition. So let's take that. I guess we'll go for... Yeah, we'll go for formidable fighters. Alright. That should be pretty good. This is not what I anticipated. And I don't think that... Uh, that it will be defendable. Yeah, I don't think so. But I guess we will auto resolve then. We will auto resolve and we'll just come back. I thought that they will try to take it back since uh, the unit was here. Oh well, good for them. Be praised. All right. I love to victory. All right. So here, they will attack maybe next turn. It's How fine though. Can I serve your next command, my lord? <laughs> we have no money though. All right. So, can we recruit at least one year? Yeah, we can recruit a general at least. I guess we'll go for cav unit. How can I serve Carthage? Yeah, one cav unit she'll be able to deal with them. Set up just orders. to hold the settlement. We fight for you, and around here we'll just um, we'll just advance a little bit and raid them. At least we'll save a little bit on the upkeep. And that one here, we may have a little problem. The I'm guessing that on the next turn they will attack My us. Lord. We'll see. We'll just hope for the best at this point. Alright, so we can easily defend that. There we go. At least they are not besurging yet immediately. And now we'll have to defend against them. And if we survive the siege or the attack, she'll be able to go and defend the, the capital. So, around here. We do have elephants. And we will really hope that it will be enough. So we'll see. Alright, so for this battle, this is where. I am hoping that it will happen. Hopefully they will kind of mass up around here. And with these troops, hopefully we'll be able to go through that area and flank them. With some elephants to charge in their rear. And we just left one Libyan uh, unit around here just to hold them back if they try to go around. And I guess we'll just bring maybe... Maybe our javelins, uh, javelin men. Just around here to uh, harass them if, like the cavalry here, if they try to come here, hopefully we'll be able to kill them with uh, our fleet. Other than that, we are just hoping for the best, honestly. The mob will go in front to receive the cavalry charge instead of our Libyan. We need to preserve them as much as possible. Hopefully we'll be fast enough. I forgot uh, to move them. So maybe it's a bit of me. We we'll try to figure them a little bit by attack charging them. Well, it's not too bad. A few um, friendly fire from the skirmishers. War elephants. Now around here we'll just move a little bit, but not too much. I don't want to attack them around here and have a second front line. This is not the plan. We just need to save a little bit of time by advancing. Thank you. Alright. The mob uh, is doing its thing, dying for the good cause. Bushman, bush! And the cavalry is pretty much dead at this point. We'll just tap uh, maybe just one more unit, but other than that, it'll be enough. We don't want to waste ammunition either. 
Alright. Oh, they're fighting cavalry around here. We'll just use a uh, hover formation. We'll have better defense and cavalry and won't be able to go through us. Hopefully. There's a big big gang uh, big gang coming around here. I'm not a big fan of that. Maybe we'll bring some some cartage in the place. Just to help hold them. And maybe yeah, the elephants will go there instead of here. Or maybe we can do both. We'll see. Now seems to be a good time to start the flanking maneuver. He seems to be uh, committed to go around here. Alright, these guys can now attack. We try to focus the swordsmen though. They are uh, the best fighters. Maybe these guys can just go a bit over here so they can go the javelins in the flank. And I think we'll do exactly that. We'll just move over here, flank them, and we'll close, just close the wall with uh, some of the days. Alright, excellent. Time to push around here. Elephants can immediately go in the blood. No, we have no time to waste. The fleet around here is doing its thing. Which is uh, throwing stuff at them. This guy can go... Uh, maybe there's a bark around here just to add more in. Alright, excellent. We'll just spread them over here, not in the formation. One of our units just to uh, just to help actually the Libyan Oplites. Alright, this is pretty good. Forgot about the elephant. So we'll just form up a little bit better. And we'll just go in it. Put Stampede, that shall do the trick. Alright. I guess that should be a pretty decent charge at this point. This is pretty good. Our flanking units are taking well care of the seniors, which is excellent. Now it's time to push. Or maybe we can go right over here. Our elephants are doing pretty good. 250 kills. We'll just cycle maybe a little bit. We take a, a position. A nice square formation should be enough to crush them over here. And we'll go for... We'll go for the spears. Anyway, it should uh, take both of them out. Now, around here. Our cottage and Oplites are holding with the Libyan Oplites. Seniors are wasting ammunition. Excellent. We can roll hard and leave. And now around here. Let's turn around and finish these guys. Let's pull back around here. Elephants can go. I'm not sure about the fastest route. I guess we'll go around here. Oh no, that's not good. Why though? They were integrated by anyone. Well, we'll just hope for the best. <laughs> we'll just wait. Hopefully, they won't kill uh, everybody. One of our units has used all its ammunition. All right, that's a bit annoying. We we'll just wait a little bit. Should be good. Don't want to kill the general. And I honestly have no idea why they went amok. Let's just chase the slingers. Finally, the elephants are back in. I guess at this point we'll just go that way. Come on, Oplites. We just need to make them go around. Let's not run again. Over here, welding, it's all good, but we'll just start moving 
some troops to support. Actually, all of them can move. Alright. 100 kills is not too bad. Even if they killed a few of our men. At least most of the ammunition was war used, so the damage was already dealt. Let's send the mob in, why not? Maybe they will spawn in the garrison with some uh, some rank so that they will be a bit more uh, proficient in melee. War elephants. Not like they will be good or anything like that. Elephants can come here nicely and squish these guys. They can feel the heat, I think. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. We'll farm up over here nicely. Maybe a bit tighter formation, something like that. And we'll we'll just charge like right, right in. It'll be pretty interesting. I know they will be stuck in, in the flop too, excellent. Just to be sure we'll close the door around here. Now around here we should be about to uh, pin them down. And the general here is... Uh, seems to be lost. I have no idea of why. AI being AI. How these guys will be stuck and won't be able to throw rock anyway in the while we are taking formation. And at this point, we'll just um... Alright, time to charge. Very nice view. Let's see the kills now. 800. Let's go, Elephants. Let's push in. And increase your stats, because you can. Yes, yes, yes. Squish everyone. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Oh god. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's not good for them. These guys are not having a good time. Let's chase them down. They've been annoying again. So it went for, it went pretty poorly for them, and well, the Obites did their job. At this point, we'll just charge uh, the general with the elephants, and it should be pretty much it at this point. On the way, we'll just squish uh, a few more guys. All right, all right, all right. Just finish this linear uh, nicely. Very good. Then we'll take a nice formation. And with the stampede, it will be pretty good. These guys will pull back. Because it's just a bad plan. Come on, come on, come on. And we will inspire ourselves. Just have better melee attack and thus, I guess, a better charge. Since they have a better chance to good the, the target. Anyway, just squishing a few more units. The general is not having a good time and we'll just make sure that the general will die. One. Maybe we'll reach the 1700. Oh no, we can't. There's only 20 more. Well, I'm guessing that it died. Otherwise, it will be very easy to take out. Let's finish this. Nice. So we killed about uh, almost 2500 of them. And they killed uh, about uh, 850, not too bad considering that like uh, two units is uh, the mob. Yeah. 
<laughs> Alright, very good. We'll just uh, release the captive and keep the money. Like we always do, or almost. Very good. So our parts element is under siege. Now the question is, will we defend the capital or... I'm not sure that we have the manpower to do so. Because instead we could go for that capital. At your command. And I think that this is what will happen. We'll just make sure to secure that province and then we'll come back here. And over here we'll be able to take out these guys. So we'll do that. Besieging settlement. Alright, we'll just encircle them. Bring the... Yeah, we can bring the general though. We'll just finish them though. That's a lot of dough. Anyway. Another military tradition for another army. Well, not really an army, but... We'll be able to reinstate that army a bit later. There is, there is no need to keep these guys. Unless they can reach. They can, so we'll bring them right here. So, we just did a nice battle. And the next part, we'll be able to start this with a nice uh, battle to recapture Isle. And we shall, we'll see if we defend the Tengis. I'll think about it. We'll see, we'll see. If you have any idea to defend it or to go for Kartuba, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, uh, otherwise uh, thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next one.